Point clouds for Rhino, professional edition, copy and delete. So you've loaded your point cloud and you wish to remove some points. Like for example here, this isn't serving any purpose, so I could delete these points. So go to the clipping tab. Now as shown in the previous video, you do your selections and unselections using these two tools here. So select and unselect. So make sure you have the correct part selected there. Now you can use the hide tool hides those points but they're not deleted they are part of this clip so let's just unhide those so now what we have we have the option in the pro version for delete here and let's copy so if I just delete those those points have now gone um, but I can remove the clip the clip has nothing to do with that um, they are gone the clip was only used to actually select the points I wish to delete or copy now if this point cloud was then loaded into some of our other packages or served from our server software those points would not exist when someone loads or receives the point cloud if an error has been made and later down the line you wish to restore this point cloud to when it was originally converted using the VPC creator you can do that here but first I'm going to remove this point cloud and I'm simply going to load it one more time and you can see the points have gone I'm just going to put that back in its colour if you do want to restore it there is an option here uh, it's called restore it's under the point clouds tab click restore those points are back so you haven't destroyed your point cloud um, but just be careful once this is done you can't undo that so go back to clipping select another area like so it's highlighted you could use this to just make sure it's correct you've got the right area um, the option copy so select copy so type in copy um, that's complete it's very quick and I'm just going to clear this this clip here which is highlighted in green go back to point clouds you'll see we have a second point cloud and it's called copy Turn off the original point cloud. There is our copy, which obviously we can put into color, etc. So just to show you, original point cloud, and there's our copy loaded. Okay, so that's under the clipping tab. That's copy and delete for the point cloud plugging into Rhino.